Hello, I'm Alan Parsons and welcome to a section of the Art and Science of Sound recording series called Dealing with Disasters, of all things. Anyway, keep checking our website uh, all the time because we've got lots of good stuff up there and uh, you can get details of all the other scenes that are currently available. So, here we go, Dealing with Disasters. A studio disaster comes in many forms. You can spend time and money on a session that simply doesn't produce anything worthwhile. You can produce something worthwhile, but at the end, everyone hates each other. Or you can produce something worthwhile, everyone loves everyone, and then you lose it all because you didn't make a backup. In this section, we're going to share some studio horror stories with you and look at various ways to make sure all your studio experiences have happy endings. In the days of analog tape, there was the master tape and that was your record period. It could get lost, erased by magnetic fields on a subway train, or get mangled up by a tape machine. And there was also the possibility of human error. 